and somehow we got uh, like four ranger slots, and you know, and you know, when you're in tech school, they they teach you, you know, I want to be an airborne ranger, this, you know, all these little hula songs and stuff like that, you know. Somehow, you know, we get we get some slots, and uh, I did look this up. I knew Johnny Vallejo was the first one to go. He was at Shaw with me. And then Greg Mosley, Dan the Man Hannikin. Did you ever meet him? Probably. Uh, I think on occasion, yeah, not too many times, but I think we did cross paths once or twice. Okay, and then I got mine, you know, but we all went in eighty. 80- 384 because it was all class year 84 okay. grad um but before since i got the the ranger school slot i said well they repel so you know i need to get smarter repellent so i got to go to aerosol school you know nice. which was not too bad at fort campbell and then i, I pcs early to, to to brag to go to ranger school um i didn't go straight to ranger school i went to first bat pre-ranger uh, which was which was nice because I, I don't remember how long it was, uh, but they taught you everything you needed to know to go to ranger school. You know, I had navigated and stuff. It's like you know, I knew comms, you know, but there was other things that they they taught you. You know, because when you're in ranger school, you're actually going to take a a pine needle. They say, "Where you at?" You got to take a pine needle, put it on a map where you're at. You know, so it's going to be very very good navs. But I think uh, I'm there for three weeks and then. We, we go to ranger school there's probably 15 to 20 of us that go which is which is really nice because no matter what platoon you're in you there's at least a couple rangers that you know you know so yeah some friendly familiarity. faces yeah yeah some people so which is very helpful so one of the things i know is that ranger school you know you, you first get there and i don't know if i i, I could have swore this might have been one of my black head instructors or just the familiarity of that he was a black hat, but he went to ranger school and these ranger school instructors remembered this guy named Sergeant Snappy because he was a Filipino or whatever. Yeah. And they just, and it was like when they saw him coming in and he was going to the ranger school, they were just like, he was getting got a lot of love, you know, just for, you know, airborne instructor, you know, they got a little, they got a little payback. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but, you know, I go to, you know, you get the bending face and I, I guess I was stressed out during the, the bending phase because I thought they were going to, you know, tear up our lockers, you know, to, you know, ransack our, our place. And so every night I'm waiting for it and they won. They didn't do it. So I lost my sleep, you know, self-induced loss sleep, prepping for it, you know, waiting for yeah. it. And, um, but uh, so you go to for, leave Benny and you go to mountain phase and, you know, everybody, everybody's fondest memories about mountain phases, the blueberry pancakes. Um, but before I get to the pancakes, I guess we can talk about, you know, it's like mountain phase is a, a good place to work your legs, you know, because you, you, there's some decent climbing and then you find out that, it, and there's so many trees that were down that, you know, you're like having to step up trees, you know, just want to make sure you didn't jack anything up, you know, but yeah, yeah. blueberry pancakes, you know, I, I, I really like to go back there and, and try the blueberry pancakes. And the reason why is because, you know, one of the things that Ranger School does is don't give you food and they don't give you sleep. Right. You know, how good are those blueberry pancakes when you're not <laughs> starving, you know? Yeah. But when you're starving, you know, that's all you're thinking about, you know. Uh, uh, another memory I had is when, once you get done with that, each phase, you know, and I was a 60 gunner during one of the last phase before we got done with the, the mountain phase. And, you know, you get an inspection, you know, we, me and my assistant gunner we didn't clean the m60 good enough and there was a lot of other people that didn't do stuff good enough you know so but they they let us have the hua meal uh but after the hua meal you know the hua meal is basically where you don't get a lot of food and then you get you get a nice dinner you know for congratulations you know okay well once we once we are you know you know bellies are full all of us that failed the, in, the inspections and stuff had to go down to this this I don't know if it was an airfield. It was like an airfield, you know. I think it was just a big open field. And then we played grass drills, ups and downs, eight-count bodybuilders, just that, you know. Uh, but what was, you know, what was cool about it is, you know, after a point when you're getting smoked, it's like you can't smoke me. People were starting to enjoy it. We were laughing, you know, because it became actually kind of hua, you know. A beat down that flipped, flipped it, you know, a good memory, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, when I went to Ranger School, we went to the Bliss for the desert phase, and Bliss totally sucked. Because um, <laughs> when we get there, 
for five days, it's basically spitting on us, you know, raining, you know, on and off for five days. And then with the soil that you're there and you, you know, you're doing long distances, you know, which can be deceiving. It's like, you see a light, you know, you think in a desert, you know, that could be 20 miles away when you see that light, you know, but you know, everything was just all over your hands, your clothes. And, you know, the good thing about ranger school, you know, you have this wet weather gear, but you know, it's going to be in your ruck. You're not going to wear it, you know? Right. <laughs> and, you know, the shoes, I remember, you know, my size 11s or 12s, whatever, they were probably 15 or 16s with, with the, you know, because the mud just gets on it so, so, oh, so, right. so much, you know? Yeah. So <laughs> we get out of, we get out of desert phase, you know, again, with a bunch of rain, we get to Herbertville, Florida, you know, or Eglin. Starts to rain on us, you're going, oh, this is not bad, you know? It's it's seventy degrees, you know. Um yeah. but uh ends up being that it rained a lot there too, and then on our final mission you gotta go to this this boat operation to that's in San Clemente not San Clemente, uh in the sound of outside her. Oh, Santa Rosa. Yeah. So you, we we end up loading these been raining all day. Do the get, load the LCMH, which is a landing craft carrier. Like the front comes down, you know. You see, like storming the beaches of Normandy type boat. You know, we got our zodiacs on there, and it was just cold. And I don't know what happened, but somebody must have got hypothermia or something. You know, while we we're there, because all of a sudden we stop outside Herbert Field, Florida. It's probably around midnight or whatever. They get us off the off the LCM eights and they just start marching us, you know, trying to get the blood flowing to get us warm, you know. Okay. And all I'm thinking is, you know, the DFAC is open right now. <laughs> we could go to the DFAC, you know, but couldn't do it. But ended up finishing that in, in Ranger School. But one thing I did want to highlight, you know, is it was like a, a, a success, you know, it was, you know, because. I think I went in there like 180, 185, and got like got down to one forty, one forty five, or something like that. Lost a lot of lot of weight, wow. um, but you know, because that time I think the, the goal was I think they'd give you like one meal a day when you're out in the the, the field, you know. But you're spending a lot of energy. But sure. I was so happy when one day I'm on one side of patrol base and somebody on the other side of patrol base tries to sneak some peanut butter, you know, and I go. You know, animalistic instinct, you know, I can smell that peanut butter yeah. uh, all the way over. Um, but that was pretty cool. 